What is the difference between an ERP system and a PPS system? You might have heard about an ERP system, which is an enterprise resource planning. An enterprise resource planning basically already says it in the words, it is an enterprise solution to take care of all the resources and plan them. This is a development that came out of the normal material resource planning and now they add another layer on top of it which makes it suitable to use for all the different locations of the same company and manage all the data that's happening in all the different divisions, different staff groups and all the individual employees. So it takes care of the orders, the planning, the resources and whatever you can think about is being taken care of in an ERP system. What most people don't know about actually, that is a PPS system, a production programming system. This system is specifically designed to take care of the production aspects of most companies. In the bigger companies that are working on an international scale, they usually have a separation between their production environment and their offices where the planning is being taken care of. Or in some cases there is like a little overlap, but in many cases people need separate systems for those solutions. Now in the recent trend there is a lot of development in software going on that actually makes this gap a lot smaller. With a PPS system you can program the production of your machines. So in other words you take care of all the machines you need in your production plant and you can plan them, make sure they have all the resources and also make sure they are programmed well. With the new production programming systems, you know exactly how much time exactly is necessary to be able to do the production. So with that, you can actually make very accurate plannings. But the huge difference between the two is that one of them, the PPS, only focus on a micro scale on the orders that already are there to be produced. While on the ERP system, we're generally looking at production plannings of projects. So we're looking at project plannings with all the individual parts, with all the purchasing parts and everything necessary to get there. Although most systems are clearly very developed and they might look as they are all in one solution, generally speaking, the production and the ERP are better off separated. What it doesn't mean that we have to get tens of dozens of different software packages, that's not the case. Because with integrations, you can integrate those things very seamlessly and you can exchange the data like it's just part of the other software package. But you save a lot of licenses, a lot of custom other um, software upgrades you might need in the future. And it's very useful to sometimes separate those information so you can have multiple factories and plants, even with very simple plants where you can work very efficiently with the machines. Plus there is also an opportunity to also make it bigger and actually higher space or capacity from other factories with these systems if you go even further with it. And this is actually the future of the Internet of Things. If you want to learn more how we can integrate those things together, then I'm happy to help you further. At my website, www.venenkhuizen.com, I would love to help you any further. In the link below, you can find all the information you might need. And I thank you for watching.